Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today we're going to make an apron and some really easy pot holders. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is the fabric that I chose for my apron. It's a nice soft yellow. I thought it would look pretty nice um, along with the kitchen. Now this is an apron I made um, previously with that other fabric I really like. And this is another um, simple one I made and actually made the straps to that one with just a thin piece of ribbon. So let's go ahead and make this yellow one for the rooming house, dollhouse kitchen. So I start out with my piece of fabric and you know I don't do any sewing. I use the liquid stitch and I use the same technique similar to the way that I do my kitchen curtains. If you haven't seen my uh, cafe curtains uh, video, definitely check that out. I make a really thin hem using the liquid stitch and this is for the skirt part of the uh, apron. Now you're going to need to kind of uh, do your own simple measurement. I use my assistant um, as far as for height and scale. So I'm hemming the bottom, the skirt part, and I'm going to hem the two sides. The top part that goes around the waist, I actually won't hem it because it will be in the waistband of the apron. So here I am doing the sides. And again, take your time. As I always say, this is edited video, so don't rush through your project. Take your time. If you have to cut it and then cut the pieces out and then come back, you know, do that. But always, um, always just check for scale. Remember, this is one inch to one foot. So if something is a foot long, it'll only be an inch in 12 scale. So I'm just finishing off that side hem of the apron skirt. Okay, so now that that's the side hem and the bottom hem are done, I'm going to go on to create the gathers to the skirt part or the part that goes around the doll's waist. Now this, temp th this technique is really simple or is made really simple because of the liquid stitch. It is a wonderful tool. You definitely need to have some in your arsenal. So I just kind of put the, the glue in little spaced areas on the top of the skirt part and just begin to fold it. The liquid stitch catches really quickly, so you don't have to go through a lot of changes with it. Just pinch it where you want it to gather and it will catch. But again, take your time. You want to press it down. And my hands have gotten a little messy because I've been working on so many things. My nails look terrible. <laughs> but go ahead and, and pinch down all of your little gathers. And um, you definitely you'll need to consider the size of your doll's waist that you're making um, the apron for. If your doll is slim, you, you know, you'll need a lot of gathers. If your doll is a little fuller figured, you may need a less gathers or a bigger piece of fabric. All right. And after I got that done, I gave that opportunity to kind of set a little bit because I didn't want those pleats to come loose while I was working on it. So I allowed it to dry. In the meantime, I went on to start to work on the bib portion. Now, again, using the same technique, I cut a little square and begin to hem the edges or the sides. Oh, I'm sorry. In this frame, I was actually making a pocket. I wanted the bib to have like a pocket on the skirt portion and one on the bib. So this is the pocket for the skirt portion. And I flipped it around. Isn't that pretty fabric? And just kind of laid it there just to give myself an idea where I wanted the pocket to lay. And I went on to create a second pocket, which this is the one that will be for the bib. And now we're making the bib. And as I mentioned, a really small piece hemming the square. Now I actually cut this piece a little bit big, so I'm actually going to have to trim it a little bit more. But as far as the technique, it is the same. 
and I actually did all four sides of the bib because with the liquid stitch, since we're not sewing, I'm going to lay the finished hem right on top of the skirt gathers and glue it until, and let, let it set till it dries. So you'll see in a moment what I mean. Okay, and it catches really quick. So here's the skirt. And I'm just kind of arranging uh, the bib where I want it to lay on top of the skirt portion. Put my liquid stitch and then I squeeze it really tight. And just hold it there a few moments just to allow it to catch. And now I'm adding on my little pockets. And that's the pocket that I wanted on the bib. Something maybe she would put safety pins in or a recipe or I don't even know. But you just need a pocket on your bib of your apron. And I think that's such a pretty fabric. It's kind of simple, but the shade of yellow is really pretty. I'm allowing that to dry. Okay, and just kind of pinching it so it'll so it'll dry and I'm actually going to add a little bit more of a waistband to that as well. But just add in that second pocket and just trying to determine where I want to lay it in relationship to the pattern of the fabric. Now you don't have to go through all those changes, but sometimes I'm a little extra, so that's what I do. And just found the nice spot to lay it. There we go. And just squeeze it. And I left it open because I actually want the pocket to be open because I'm actually going to put things in her pocket so it'll give it a real realistic look in the process. Now doesn't that look cute? It's coming along really nice. Okay, so I took a, uh, a thin piece. Now I have to make the part that goes around her neck. Now this part is very simple and actually it's going to be the same technique for the ties. You're going to make a thin piece. You're going to hem it, fold it in, and then you're going to, after you smooth it, you're going to fold it in again. Now this portion of making the apron is a little tedious, so just definitely uh, give yourself some time. And it's best if your hands are a little bit cleaner than mine. I do have quite a bit of glue on there. That's why it's um, important to keep you some type of handy wipes or baby wipes or something nearby to remove the glue from your hands. But the glue was dry, so it wasn't messing up my fabric. Okay, so I turn the apron over and find uh, the spot on the bib where I want it to sit. Put my glue and then squeeze it. Then I loop it around to the other side. And you have to hold it and manipulate it a little bit. And so I, I guess I want you to see how I sometimes have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit. So if you have times where you may struggle with it, some you won't think you did anything wrong. It's just a part of the process. You'll have to work with it because, again, I didn't do any measuring. So after I realized exactly where I needed it to be, I trimmed off the extra and... I laid it down and just held it and see I left the loop big enough so it'll fit over my doll's head I don't have ties to put around her neck because to me that's just too bulky so I just make it just big enough to get over her head and over her hair and just mash it down with my pointy tool just to make sure that the glue saturates and there we have the basics of an apron. Now all we have to, have to do is add on um, the ties. Now I did add a little waistband, but a project like this, you can add lace, you can add buttons, 
you know, you could even make your skirt go all the way around instead of just in the front. So use your own imagination to create an apron that you like. I just want to show you the basic um, pieces that you would need and the basic construction of the apron so you'll know what you need to do to create the type you want to make. And these are the ties. I really like that fabric. And you see how thin I made the strip for the ties. It was a lot thinner than the part that I went around the neck. And you actually could have put the part around the neck to be thinner, but I make sure I make the ties really, really thin because I don't want it to be difficult um, to tie them. Um, in place of uh, making the ties with the actual fabric, you definitely could have used ribbon. Um, you could even use a piece of burlap thread like I use so many times in so many projects. So let your imagination lead you. And I just pressed it in and held it so that the glue would um, saturate. And so that kind of gives you a glimpse of how it looks. Now let's go ahead and make those quick pock holders. Now those two were some I previously made, but I'm going to make these right here so you can see. And I had some a leftover um, twill fabric and I decided, I thought it was a really nice weight for um, some dollhouse pot holders. I definitely don't want my dolls to burn their hands while they're cooking those greens and cabbage. So I wanted to make them something to keep their hands safe. So this is just a very simple process. Again, no sewing involved at all. I cut the two squares. I have a piece of burlap thread. And basically what I do is sandwich the burlap thread in between the two squares with glue. And I kind of put the burlap thread kind of toward the corner and created a loop. Now you can make your loop as big or as small as you want it to be. But that's all I do. I embed it in the glue and then add um, add the other square. Now there's no worries on the fabric fraying because by the time you get done, that piece of fabric is going to be saturated with glue and you'll be able to trim off any frays that you might have and the fabric will be very firm. So it'll look really cute when you hang it on the side of your stove or your table. So the same business with the second pot holder. Just gave it a nice coat of glue and sandwiched that cord right there in the middle. And when it dries nice and firm, then I trim off any kind of frays or extra snags that are along the edges. There's that pesky glue again. Okay. And I hope you can see from this angle. Yeah, you can see the little burlap loop. And just like that, you have two pot holders. And you make as many as you need. Now, I did make extra because I have drawers to fill. I want some laying on the table. I want some on the counter. You know, I want the kitchen to look busy. I also, this is uh, extra footage. I actually made a couple just hand towels because, hey, you got a whole kitchen to run. So you're going to need towels as well to dry the dishes or to wipe your hands off. And, you know, these towels wouldn't have matched. So I made it out of different types of fabric. So when you see it in the stack, it'll just be a stack of different cloths and towels. And I made a third one. So it's really easy to make little accessories for your dollhouse cabinets and drawers and things like that. So I just wanted to show you a couple techniques. Now, after looking at uh, my towels and my pot holders and my beautiful apron, I really wanted to make this apron so it would hang on the door of the rooming house dollhouse kitchen. But that yellow apron was just too pretty to just hang on a door. Now, I had made the two that I made previously that I showed you, and I started to think I actually would like to put give that yellow one to my assistant. So what I'm going to do is use the more plain apron and use the plain apron to put on the door and let my assistant have that pretty yellow apron. 
So this is the door um, and I applied the hook. And so I just kind of hung it on its own, but it didn't look drapey enough. So I pulled out my glue and water solution. Now this is the glue and water solution I used when I did my curtains. And you basically would use, I would say, three parts water, one part glue, because you don't want the glue to be clumpy. And then I began to pinch um, the wrinkles into it. And because I wanted the wrinkles to stay, I just wrapped a piece of wire around it. to Just encourage the wrinkles to stay in it and allowed it to dry. Now here I, here I am with our apron, our pot holders, the three cloths I made, or cloths or towels for our kitchen. I sure have enjoyed making this video for you dolls today. If you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading new video here to Little Gretchen's Workshop. There's my assistant. She's so sweet. She really likes her apron. She's always so helpful, helping me keep everything in scale. I'm really glad I decided to give her the apron, that yellow one I just made, and to hang the other one on the door in the kitchen. Look at that one. It's hanging in the kitchen. Doesn't it look great? I really like the way that turned out. I hope you dolls enjoyed it as well. Looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.